Thank you so much, Kat, for being with us. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. Well, as I mentioned, this is Laudato Sea Week, and um, you know, some people might have heard the word Laudato Sea, but maybe if you could talk about that, uh, maybe tell us a little bit about some of the highlights of the encyclical itself that was released in 2015, so in case people don't uh, know all the little in intricacies of it. Probably the most important thing to understand about this is that Pope re actually wrote a letter to the world to all people of goodwill. And he reminded us that God created this planet on which we all live and all of us and everything that exists on the planet. And he called us to thrive together, reminded us that we're all interconnected and we call that integral ecology. And then he went on to talk about all of the different ways that we come together. And he looked at it from a scriptural standpoint. He looked at it from an ecological standpoint, and he looked at it from an economic justice standpoint. So socially, environmentally, and economically, we're all interconnected and we're called to be good stewards and to come together and take care of our common home. And in your implementation of this in the Archdiocese of Atlanta, what have you learned? So a couple of things. We were the first ones that we know of in the world to look at this document and create an action plan. And we put our action plan right in the Pope's hands. And we figured that if he's called us to do all this, what does that mean? What does it look like? So we put together this action plan and we had some uh, Catholics and people of other faith traditions come together who were scientists, but also deeply involved in their faith and be able to bring those, synthesize our faith and the science together into what we can do. We put that out and we soon realized that we needed a strategic plan. We needed some way to actually make action happen. It, you know, this is for everyone, Laudato C, of course, is in our common, uh, the earth as our common good for all of us. Um, but uh, talk about the importance of having young people involved in this and, and getting them excited about uh, protecting the earth, the environment, and, and doing it in a way that uh, showcases God's creation. That is a great point because while the Pope actually talks about making sure that it isn't just us, but it's future generations that we have to be worried about. In the Archdiocese of Atlanta, one of our 10 areas we focus on is empowering young people to be a part of this. That means, first and foremost, we have to meet young people where they are. And what we did is bring a couple of young people onto our team to kind of help us navigate how do we empower and involve young people? What language do we use? What communication techniques do we use? And they brought a great point to us. And that was at one point, I remember in a meeting, one of our young women said to me, all I keep hearing you say is we can't do this. I want to know how do we remove the barriers and do this? And that was, that was a different way of looking at things. And so in involving the young people, we feel like we're giving them the opportunity to have a say and help make the decisions on how we move forward as a diocese. Uh, if you don't mind if I ask, how do you uh, remove those barriers? <laughs> I, it's, it's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> but one of the things that we have to remember is that we keep our archbishop and we keep our other leaders in the diocese actually up to date and involved. We tell them what's happening. We don't exist in a silo. In fact, the number one thing out of our strategic plan is we want to integrate a Laudato Si or an integral ecology lifestyle into all of our ministries, all of our offices. We want to work ourselves out of a job. We want this to be a part of the culture of our diocese. That's wonderful. And how can people get some more information about the work you're doing in Archdiocese of Atlanta and Laudato Si in general? So the easiest way to get to us is go to the Archdiocesan website, which is www.archatl, that's A-R-C-H-A-T-L.com. And I can give you a whole lot of other things after that or just tell you to go to the search mechanism and search social, or I'm sorry, search justice and peace ministries. And when you get to our page, there's a big green block that says 
care for creation, hearing the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor. Kat Doyle, thank you so much for taking the time to be here and thank you for the wonderful work you're doing down in the Archdiocese of Atlanta and beyond. Thank you so much for having me. Y'all enjoy your wonderful day. Thank you so much.